So I watched TMNT Mutant Mayhem. This is the latest attempt at making a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. And I have to say, I really enjoyed it. And I've never been a huge Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fan. I mean, as a kid growing up, you know, I watched the odd episode of one of the animated series. I don't even remember exactly which one it was. I actually did quite enjoy the, like, there was like that CGI (laughs) TMNT movie. I think it was just titled TMNT. I think I remember really enjoying that, but never, never really been been a huge Turtles fan. Um, and I think this is my favorite iteration of the Turtles. I, I have to talk about the animation first. Absolutely wonderful. You know, when we first saw that initial teaser, a lot of people were being like, "Oh, they're just ripping off into the Spider Verse," and they're really not. Like, Into the Spider Verse is very much like a comic book come to life. This, uh, this movie almost feels like a middle schooler's like doodle that he would write in his note that he would draw in his notebook come to life there's a certain like crudeness to the animation that i really dug it it has a bit of a grime to it that that i really appreciate i think the animation here was like inspired by into the spider verse i i think it was i think they were probably inspired by that uh, in the sense that hey we can do something that's not just toy story which animation has just kind of been for the past 20 years it's like oh spider verse did something different we can do something different. So this is very much its own animation style. Um, I also have to talk about the voice acting. They actually went out and got like actual teenagers to do the voices. And it makes such a huge difference. And it, it goes such a long way to making this iteration of the Turtles immediately likable. Like I immediately enjoyed these characters. And a lot of that is due to the fact that they genuinely sounded like teenagers the humor in general i thought was pretty strong all the way through there weren't too many like cringe moments as i think there really could have been because the the humor in this is like it's very modern in the sense they talk about riz (laughs) they they say riz they they say sus it it very easily could have gone south but it never got cringe like it it pretty much always sounded like kind of natural because to be fair that is how kids talk nowadays. So it 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 rides that line pretty well. The action is surprisingly really solid. I mean, it's a Ninja Turtles movie, so obviously there was going to be like martial arts action, but it's pretty well choreographed. Like it was all it was pretty exciting. The story, it's a little bare bones. Like it's not quite on the level of like an Into the Spider Verse or an Across the Spider Verse for that matter. So you kind of see where it's going pretty pretty easily. Some of the themes are very much in your face, and in that sense, it is very much like a like a kids movie, right? Where it, it's it's being pretty explicit with what it's trying to say, you know, so that kids can understand it. Um, so I I would demerit it a few points because of that, you know, because I, I I'm very much of the opinion that like you you don't necessarily need to do that in a kids movie. I think kids are smarter than people will give them credit for but that that was never like that never went like too far to where like i wasn't enjoying the movie i guess the one thing that i'll end this off with is that from what i understand and listen like i said before i am not a teenage mutant ninja turtles fan they do some like changes to to like the lore here because it's a brand new adaptation that is apparently like radically different from other iterations like april o'neill is not an adult in this like she's a high schooler i believe she's the same age as 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 the turtles she just wants to be a journalist right she's not actually one and there's a bunch of other stuff that from what i understand basically by the end of this movie the status quo of not just the turtles but just the world that they live in is just completely different from the lore so i don't know if that's gonna anger Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fans, but the person that I watched it with sort of expressed to me that it was radically different. He doesn't mind it, though. Obviously, I don't care about any of that. I I just think it's a good movie, so, like, I don't... I could not care less if it's different, but I don't know. Considering how it feels like a lot of times fandoms, their reaction to stuff like that is to go, it's different from things that I consumed before, so therefore it's bad. That seems like the thought process. I could very well see that happening, but we'll see. Maybe it's not going to end up being that big of a deal. So overall, uh, really enjoyed this movie. If you have a kid or if you have like a niece or a nephew, 
absolutely take them to this movie. I guarantee you they are going to absolutely love this. Like, man, if I had this movie as a kid, I could very well see this being like one of my favorite movies of all time. Let me know what you thought about it if you've seen it uh, in the comments down below, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.